Hi everyone, it's Mary from Calumet Knits and I have a quick tutorial for you on how to make these Santa bags that hold a gift card or small gift. And we're going to be making this one here with the Jingle Bells. So I'm going to start by casting on with waste yarn, just a few rows, and then I'll switch over to my main color, which is red, and we're going to knit 22 rows before changing over to white, which will be the top of the bag for three rows. And I'm not cutting that white, I'm just hanging it up out of the way, and I'm binding off with waste yarn. And now I'm going to slip stitch the bottom edge closed. Um, I do have a, another video in my YouTube channel that shows you the details on how I close um, a, the cast on edge of a tube. We'll go ahead and remove that waste yarn. So I want to secure that tail and then I will turn this inside out and secure the color change and then I want to single crochet that top edge going all the way around and at the end I will slip stitch to the beginning to join it and then you can cut that yarn and remove the waste yarn and then secure any loose ends that you might have. So I do use the duplicate stitch to bury my tails just a little bit since this is not a uh, double tube where you can hide the tails in between the layers. Once we have all the tails buried, I'm going to go ahead and cut about a 20 inch length of yarn. And using my tapestry needle, I'm going to go down through some stitches in the second row of that red and I'm just going to thread um, this what I'm going to use for a drawstring through some of these stitches and it doesn't have to be exact I'm going every three or four and then when I get close to the front here I'm going every other stitch now I have these jingle bells they have a little a uh, place where I can thread my yarn through on the back and I just tie a knot. Now you can use beads, you can uh, use pom-poms, whatever you might have. And here's our finished product. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and check out the links below to my Etsy and Ravelry shops, as well as some other places that you can find me. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.